In this lecture, I am going to show you what a KiCad project created in KiCad 7 looks in KiCad 7 on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux Ubuntu. And to do that, I'm going to use the packaging feature in KiCad, which you can find here under File, Archive. So this is going to take everything that is in the project, including libraries and other files and folders, and put them in a zip file that you can then use on other operating systems or kick at running on other operating systems or share with other people in your team. And uh, as you'll see, the transition from kick at in one operating system to another is seamless. Even in kick at six, using kick at in uh, the different operating systems that are supported was uh, still seamless. Uh, you can see this lecture in this course using KiCad 6, and as you'll see, uh, moving from one OS to the other uh, is seamless, there's no problem at all. And the same is true in KiCad 7. So I'm gonna show you the setup first and then go ahead and move this uh, MCU data logger uh, zip archive project from Mac OS. This is where I created this project and then I created the archive, and then we'll move it across to uh, Windows. This is Windows 10 and Ubuntu 22. So first I wanted to show you which version of KiCad I'm working with. I'm working with KiCad 7.0.2. Up to now I've actually been working with version 0, uh, 7.0 and 7.01, and then this morning uh, I discovered that there's a new update, so I updated all my KiCad installations and decided to uh, record this lecture using the latest available version of KiCad. So that's KiCad 7.2. Similarly, on Windows, you'll see that I've downloaded and installed version 7.2 of KiCad. And you'll see about KiCad here that uh, agrees 7.02. And on Linux, again, I have upgraded to version 7.02. Point two, and to do the update, I used the apt tool and I just uh, issued a sudo apt install kickout command. And you can see that after the apt tool doing its thing, I've got kickout 7.0.2 on Linux. All right, so I have created my zip file here again using the archive project option under file. And I'm just going to go quickly through the schematic editor just so that you can see what's there. Now here, one thing to point out is that I've got non-standard fonts for these two text items. Have a look inside here. You'll see that I'm using Helvetica Newer for the first text item and um, Avenir for the second one. So I suspect that those are not going to go through to Windows and Linux because my Linux and Windows virtual machines do not have those fonts installed, but we'll see what happens to them later. Other than that, everything's pretty normal here. I've got um, the various symbols with the various properties, and there is a second sheet here as well that looks like this. In the layout editor, that's what the project looks like. By the way, this is one of the projects later on in this course, you learn how to design something like this or specifically this same design. Uh, this has, uh, let's have a look at the board setup. This is a two layer PCB. And uh, there's also the 3D viewer, which looks pretty nice like this. So what I want to see in this experiment is if the project will look identical on Windows and Linux, or whether there's going to be any issues that um, will require additional work. Okay, let's go to Windows first. Now, I have already moved this zip file across. So I've got this zip file, the archive from the project repository is right here and I dragged and dropped it onto my Windows virtual machine. And here's the zip file. So the first thing to do is to go into KiCad 7 and then go into an archive project. Basically, all this does is to unzip this archive. So you can actually just unzip it um, with a third party application if you wish. I need a new folder here. So let's create a new folder. 
to put this project in. So MCU data logger unarchived like this. So let's put this project in here and for the name of the project. Uh, basically, I don't need to worry about because the anarchive function is just going to restore the project directory exactly as I left it on my original KiCad workspace in macOS 7. So now I'm going to go ahead and open the project or just drag and drop the project file. This one right here. And there's my project in KiCad 7 on Windows 10. All right, as you can see, the hierarchy has been restored. Here's the layout file. So I exported the layout in 